actually want to record this. Um, do, 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 do. All right, well, I'll wait this thing. Oh, no one needs to hear this right now, except um, people on the internet are going to deal with this. Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to Say What! Readings of Deliciously Rotten Writing. How is everybody doing tonight? Good. Good. Ryan, is everything good? You're totally blocking um, everyone over there. You go. See you guys? Are they nice like that? Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to press record, and then I can actually start doing. Thanks, piece of crap. Start. Okay, yay. So, um, woo, theater. Um, so, how many of you guys are someone round of applause have ever been to a Say What show before? Yeah. Yeah. I recognize a lot of your faces. You guys are so lovely. Um, welcome back. And uh, enthusiastically, how many of you guys are here for the first time ever? excited. Well, um, welcome. This is a show uh, called Say Well, Readings of Deliciously Rotten Writing. It's a show where I get funny people to read from the worst books they can find. Their uh, mission, or their uh, the objective that I send for them, that's why I use that word, is to find something that they read that makes them utter the word Say Well, as in... Exactly, that is so fucking crazy. How did this thing get published? That doesn't even make sense. That dialogue's atrocious. Why is everything bold every other sentence? So we're talking like the worst things ever published. And um, throughout the evening, everyone I think is gonna come to their own like say what moments. And so I always start the night off with some audience participation. So I wanna get you guys to practice your say was. Are you, are you guys game for that? Yeah. yeah, okay, so on the count of three, we're gonna give a big say what. One, two, three. Say what? Nice. And I like how most of you did not put the T on it. Branding, right? It's all about branding. <laughs> say what? Question exclamation point. Um, if you are uh, a Twitter person, I, I encourage you to do this because I don't have time to like write all the crazy words down. I try to. So if you want to hashtag S A no yeah say W H A A, that'll be our hashtag. What? We're in the future. We are live streaming. Hello, internet. Um, we have people from where? Edmonton, Victoria, Hamilton. Shout out. Is Los Angeles watching? <laughs> Fuck you, Brian and Andrew. You said you were gonna watch. Let me see. Um, <laughs> And none of my friends in Toronto are watching. They're like, I'm Tad, it's bedtime. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm going to start the night off with uh, a very special book. Now, I've been doing this show for over a year now. We've been in the Comedy Festival. Thank you. Um, the Writers Festival and recently the Olio Festival. And I have found a book every single fucking time. And this is like the jackpot of all Say Wa books. I mean, you thought, did anyone come to the Olio show last morning? <laughs> um, so th that one, you missed out because I read a super crazy book called Model Land by Tyra Banks. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it again because the entire book is 600 pages. And yeah, yeah, that's a Say Wa, really. And it's fiction. And like every single page has a say well moment in it. You can watch it actually um, online. Uh, I'll tell you about that later at rjz or ztv.com. Um, anyways, so I thought that book was crazy, but this one even more so. And thanks to the internet, I came across this wonderful book. Um, it is an ebook because I didn't really trust that I could get it in time. So I apologize. This cover is it's like rainbow printed, so the colors didn't come out very well. But this is the cover, and it's called. Wet Goddess, and if you can see this, <laughs> Recollections of a Dolphin Lover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right away I was like, done, I found my book. Thank you, internet. Thank you, Gawker. And it even made um, the Huffington Post. Because this guy, uh, it's a novel by Malcolm J. Brenner, and uh, he has been crazy promoting this book. <laughs> okay, so um, if you can't judge from the cover and the title, this is a book about a man's love affair with a dolphin. Fiction or nonfiction? Oh, good question. Um, let me read the author's apology, which does cover that. Yeah, instead of, instead of an introduction, he writes an apology. Um, first off, the copyright for this book is very unique. It's 1974. 78 and 2009. Uh, 
Oh, like every single page of this book was a say what, and I, like almost every single word, a single sentence. It was really hard. I have 20 pages that I like found and like try to condense, and I'm going to try and condense this to hopefully no more than 15 minutes. Um, so here we go. Author's apology. I am sure almost anybody could write a better novel than this. <laughs> Its chief defect, it seems to me, is that most of it happens to be true. <laughs> to suddenly realize without warning or guidance that I was not what society prepared me to be, not what my parents expected me to be, not even who I thought I was or wanted to be, was devastating and destabilizing. <laughs> Word choices, I know. Uh, by learning to accept me as a human being, Ruby, the dolphin, Help me to accept myself, and that was tremendously liberating. So much I overlooked its dangers, but then so did she. <laughs> and I believe she understood them better. After all, I was a callow college student, still practically a virgin, and she was a tough old Finn. Like, dolphin, but just Finn. <laughs> Who'd rolled in the eelgrass many times before. Oh, before Bo made a showgirl out of her and she had the rake marks to prove it. That is quite the sentence. Uh, there's semicolon and many commas in it. So at least his punctuation's all right. Um, so Bo is this guy that owns this dolphin's like sanctuary slash show. It's like um, SeaWorld, but like budget. Budget SeaWorld. And uh, yes, maybe. In Florida in the 1970s. So that's when this is set. Okay, um, given her previous experience, she should have known better than to flip flukes over snout for one of her captor species. Like that, like how he's twisted head over tail, or head over, you know, flukes over, that's awful. In addition to being uh, lethal, fickle, and clueless underwater, we are such very, very conceited creatures, dot, dot, dot. Sorry, I digress. To return to my original point, let me repeat it just one more time a little stronger, for emphasis, in caps locks. I never intended to fall in love with that fucking she-dolphin! <laughs> there. Got that, although fucking, I, it was my words, he actually wrote like, you know, asterisk, number sign, at symbol, but she-dolphin is what he wrote. There, got that straight, good, because nothing else in this story will be, including me. Wow. Okay, so now you guys, we're gonna get into this. Um, pretty much the entire novel, and in the ebook, I mean, I have the PDF version because I don't have an ebook yet. I want one so bad. Christmas present, everyone? Um, I could have so many say what books. You have no idea how many like free books there are out there in the e publishing world. Oh, that's pretty cool. So every single uh, page, like the feel of this book is basically erotica. Um, and here's uh, an example of that. <laughs> yeah, dolphin erotica. Um, the first time he meets the dolphin. So Selena is um, the woman, uh, who, Bo is the rich guy that owns the fake sea world and Selena is his wife. Selena knelt beside me, her blouse filling as she leaned over the water and extended a hand. Ruby, the dolphin, rolled on her back, exposing an oyster shell belly with two faint pink stripes that ran from her pectoral fins, her flippers or pecs, if you're a vet or a trainer, <laughs> to her navel. The woman rubbed gently and the dolphin arched with delight. Like, everything is pouring. I was able to observe that, except for a short, curiously unrevealing slit where the penduncle met the trunk, like, cause that's what people think when they first see a dolphin. You're like, hmm. Her streamlined undercarriage bore no obvious traces of pubic hair, teats, or genitalia. <laughs> between the females of our two species, mine so well endowed with secondary sexual characteristics, hers so neatly lacking them, couldn't have been much greater. So yeah, this is what he thinks the first time he sees the dolphin. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay. So there's a lot of talk in this book about how the dolphins are super horny. For example, page 30. Um, the dolphin is using this hose like a dildo, apparently. Uh, there's a lot of descriptions that I'm going to spare you, uh, and I'm just going to read this little, this little talk about how the dolphin is horny. 
So, they, uh, do they breed in captivity? I asked, wary of offending her. Is it Selena? Are you kidding? They screw like crazy. But the females, for some reason, won't conceive. That pool's too small. Out in the wild, that would be a very different story. Her bluntness caught me off guard. When my mother got angry, her mouth could make a Marine Corps drill instructor blush. But not having grown up with rich people the way I, uh, I thought, not having grown up with rich people, I thought they were stuffy and in inhibited and didn't talk about things like S-E-X the way that the rest of us did. <laughs> Selena's unexpected earthiness delighted me. Because <laughs> talking about sex is earthy. At least in the 1970s. Ruby's incredibly horny in that little pen all by herself, she went on. I've told Bull, but he just doesn't seem to want to do anything about it. Right? And this is the point in the plot where you're like, and that's what his job is to do. He needs to do something about it. Okay, so I can tell you guys are, uh, are, are kind of creeped out of it. So you really, you really don't want to read about the actual time where he sticks his penis in the dolphin. <laughs> So, <laughs> it was self-published because uh, he felt this experience needed to be shared, um, but he's getting a lot of attention. So I will spare you all the um, the stuff, um, except so blah 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 blah. He talks about having sex with a dolphin. Um, yeah. His argument is is that you know she's a dolphin and they're very powerful creatures and. You know, like, he's, it's not like, I don't know, she, apparently the woman's on top in the dolphin world, and it's like, she could have swam off if she didn't want it, <laughs> essentially. Oh, wow. Read the book and make your own decision. <laughs> but then this is, this is a great moment of the book for me. Um, this is a one, like, I knew what the book was about, and the whole thing was a sewa, but then this was a moment of my personal sewa. My first lover wasn't Lorraine. My first, oh yeah, it wasn't Lorraine. It wasn't even human. She was an apricot miniature poodle bitch. <laughs> okay, so I'll just leave maybe that at that. Um, he goes on about like how, um, you know, blah, 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 but now this was a dolphin soliciting me, so was Ruby me and I the dog? There couldn't be much more to it than that, could there? Ruby just wanted sexual gratifica gratification, or so it seemed. So they have a nine month, like, sexual love affair. It's a dolphin and him. Um, and at, this guy is a hippie. He's like 20 years old. Yeah, can, could you tell? Um, and at uh, one point, he does some drugs, and this no. is my next crazy say well moment. He's thinking about dolphins and how they think and how they talk, and he's high. Um, and then something happens. Floating in a world of echoes, breathing about every, thinking about every breath, owning nothing, sharing everything, never sleeping with more than half their brain at, this, at a time. Dolphins seem to be pre-adapted for spirituality. Oceanic consciousness was their birthright by natural selection. So it was really odd, so was it really odd that they could prove to be telepathic? What? Yeah. So was this Ruby the dolphin in my head? Hmm. Yes, it's me, she thought cheerily. I'm so glad to be recognized. And this is like, it's weird, like, this, I don't know if you see, like, half, like, it doesn't make sense what's in bold and what's not. Like, use quotation marks or italics for telepathy, but, like, some things are bold and some things aren't in this conversation. I don't understand. Uh, if you're really Ruby, why don't you prove it? Oh. Is this rampant skepticism a characteristic of your whole species? <laughs> if so, it's no wonder we've had such a hard time getting through to you. We, you know, <laughs> us, my people. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you just identify yourself the other night when I was reading Mind of the Dolphin? It's important that you figure it out for yourself because I didn't have the word dolphin in my vocabulary then. I didn't know what you called us. To us, we're just us. Oh, crap. <laughs> that made sense. Yeah. Dolphin was a human construct after all. There was no reason for Ruby to know what we would call her. You still haven't proven to me that you're Ruby. She was not pulsed. What can I prove while you're stuck there? And I'm stuck here in this corroding little pen. So they're like nowhere near each other. She's just like, eh, he's at his house. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Uh, this is what's happening while he's high. Give me time to work something out and I'll give you proof. Meanwhile, how are you going to rationalize the fact that we're having this conversation? Look, I can accept you as who you say you are for the time being and as a working hypothesis, but I still have a lot of questions about this whole thing. Such as, if you're Ruby, why are you contacting me like this? Because you can't click or whistle worth shark shit. <laughs> and I can't speak any better. Your pitch is so low, I can barely hear you. As to why, what do you know about me? And it goes on and on. Um, and then she faded from my mind like the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> leaving behind the mental equivalent of a lingering aroma, like the scent of the sea somehow wafting over the mountains. <laughs> Uh, Ruby dies. Oh, it's so sad. Their nine month love affair, and he's like, I gotta, tear, I gotta tear myself away. I know. No, you don't need to read this book. I do this so you don't have to. Remember, that's part of the point of the show. Um, so Ruby dies, and in the book, what does he do? But he writes, he writes out half the lyrics to Ruby Tuesday. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna repeat them. Anyways, um. And then, sort of like almost at the end of the book now, um, he's high again, because he's a hippie. And then this happens in bold. Hello! I blinked, blinded by the glare. I can't remember what the glare's been. Is it you? Of course. Who else? For a few moments, I couldn't think, and I wasn't sure what I was feeling. Ruby's, Ruby's thoughts had a different texture. Where are you? Where I've always been. In your mind. I might have been stoned, but I wasn't stupid. Communicating telepathically with a dolphin might stretch my credulity, but communicating with a dead dolphin? Well, that was impossible! Oh my god, this book is like the best. Okay. Hey, what's the matter? Aren't you glad I'm back? Now that I don't have a body to worry about, we can be together all the time! <laughs> she just couldn't understand why I didn't find that a happy thought. <laughs> I don't get it, she groused, which is an interesting word. You had a terrible time accepting my reality when I was alive, and now that I'm dead, it doesn't seem any easier. I just thought you'd be glad that I'm still here. So he's now fighting with the dead dolphin. <laughs> uh, can we compromise? I asked her. Uh, this is the best I can do for right now. I can't unqualifiedly accept your existence yet. It's too weird, and for all I know, it may not happen again. And they have this weird, like, philosophical argument back and forth. And uh, I'm gonna end with this. Oh, this is fucking great, I thought. Now I've got a dead dolphin swimming around in my head. <laughs> Lover. Uh, if we have more time, I'll read more later. Um, you're lucky I spared you the having sex. Like, they have sex a lot. <laughs> the great thing about um, ebooks is that you can, like, keyword search. <laughs> so when I first got this, I was like, really? Is this? I'm like, penis. Whoa! So many times! <laughs> so, there you are. Um, okay. So I know we're gonna, are you guys ready to move on? Do we need, like, does everyone need a hunker now? Maybe that's why more people didn't show up tonight. They're like, I really don't want to know anything about a man that fucks a dolphin. But it's going around the internet like crazy. Um, and I bring it to you, because I care about you guys so much. So, um, our next reader, I'm very excited to bring up to the stage, because he has been to pretty much every single say oh, show, and uh, even my Teen X nights, uh, lots of stuff. He is in high school. That's awesome, I know. Um, and But he's a uh, musician. Wait, you do music as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, music. And uh, performed in the Rocky Horror Picture Show this last summer. So please give a very warm and loving welcome for his very first time on stage, Steve Rondeau.